many youngsters, they knew the types of drugs that are on the market, the dangers of uh, drug consumption. We have to try to help them, you know, from falling prey to uh, the scourge of drugs. I am Mr. Chulan Buju, Deputy Commissioner of Police of the Mauritius Police. I'm responsible for uh, the southern sector of the island. Fighting drugs is one of our priorities and one of our policing objectives. And for this, we have to sensitize the community. The Mauritius Police established contact with the Foundation for a Drug-Free World. When uh, we received the material on the program, we and the police realized the value, the relevance of the material. They were distributed to all branches and units of the force, as well as to the police training school. They trained on it, and they have found that these uh, materials are interesting, they are enriching, they are typically relevant. So these have uh, helped our staff and trainers to conduct these campaigns in the fight against drugs. Then we went to the community, to our community forums, schools and colleges, right, to sensitize them on uh, the problem of drugs. During these meetings, we have been distributing books, pamphlets, and showing videos. Since our officers have become more uh, alive and more knowledgeable with the support of the foundation, they are now conducting uh, their campaigns with more uh, professionalism, with more commitment. In this way, the outreach and the impact on the community is more visible. Our campaigns have become more lively, uh, more interesting, more catchy. In educating the youth and the community, there has been a remarkable change in attitude and mindset. More than 20,000 have been touched upon with the program and is now an integral part of the Mauritius Police. The truth about drugs program has enhanced our campaign, which have been successful tackling and handling the problems of drugs in our country.